Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jimin Tamang, and in this video, guys, we're gonna be uh, checking out this video where uh, Ted Phylon shading our Justin on national television. So I was tagged in a couple of tweets saying that Jivan, you have to check this one out. And I was like, and I also, and last night, I also see that Tre Ted Phylon apologized to Justin trending. And I was like, what the hell is this up to? And uh, it seems like he made some sort of uh, fun of Justin saying that he's not Filipino or something like that. I'm still not sure, but you know, like I want to check this out in front of you just to know what the fuck did he actually mean. Ted Phylon Justin is what I'm typing. And uh, yeah, popular broadcaster Ted Phylon trended on social media for his comment apparently referring to SB19's member Justin's nose, it is. So, wait, wait, wait. I just want to read the whole statement that he's saying. Uh, it's, it's, an, it's an article. Did he write an apology or tweet an apology or something? Because that's such some nasty things to do. And he's from which channel? Like, no, broadcaster he's like, is he like a popular news reader or something? We don't know. The fuck is this? There's nothing in here. Yeah. Yeah, all, all the things are only in Tagalog, so yeah, but they're quite a lot of so it's not Ted Phylon being the complete epitome of how a boomer mindset should not be tolerated. The commentaries are completely irre irrelevant to what DJ Asha is repairing, reporting. Wait for a minute, let me just uh, I didn't pay attention to it earlier because your grandmother was ambushed yeah, and I didn't want to stress. But please, Sir Ted Phylon, let's put our jokes in the right place. Is that really a joke? What's your problem with pinos with piercing noses? Exactly. He seems like one of those guys with toxic masculinity who like wants guys to be in a certain way. They should be like this, that. Like, like I can see it from his face, you know, that he's that kind of a person. So let's just check this video out uh, real quick. Uh, where the actual comment was made, I think it the is entertainment. In... Nako, nag number one sa trending list ng X si SB19 member Justin sa kanyang first live solo performance. Filipino oh, opino yan. Filipino bayan. I think it means is he Filipino, right? If I'm not mistaken about that. I mean, I know a few uh, Tagalog words now since I've been reacting to Filipino content from like nag number three one years sa trending now. list ng X. Si SB19 member Justin sa kanyang first live solo performance. Filipino ba yan? Oo, pino yan. Ang pogi, di ba? Hindi, kala ko kasi... Oh, cutie, cutie. Gusto kita makita ang ganyan ang kulay ng buhok. Oh. Ash blue, ah, uh, grayish dyan eh. Mm. Ash gray blonde, gano'n. Oh. Uso yan. But he doesn't have piercing oh, in his nose. Pagtataki. <laughs> Eto na nga, mga kapatid. He was talking about his ear piercing. Ang kanya pong per... Wait, what did he say? <laughs> Eto na nga mga kapatid Ang kanya pong performance sa asap natin ito ay trending Tinanghal ni Justin ang una niyang solo single na surreal Pinuri naman ng mga 80 ng napakagandang bosses ni Cha Kwento ni Justin, inspirasyon niya sa awitin ay ang mga magagandang bagay All original Oo, oh, oh, all original yan He seems to be really like, it doesn't, it doesn't seem like he's he likes the SB19 or Justin because the way that he's giving those side comments, uh, Pino, uh, uh, Pinoy na bayan, something like is he Filipino? And uh, uh, when when she was saying something like, Ay, mga mag all, original, yeah. all original, like is he original? I guess something like that. So, like, those are very, you know, um, single na low key oh, shady comments. Kwento ni Justin, inspirasyon niya sa awitin ay ang mga mag magagandang bagay. All original. Oo, oh, oh, all original yan. Yung kanta ka ako. <laughs> What does that mean? Even si Justin, in fairness. Inspirasyon niya po sa awitin ay mga magagandang... Inspirasyon niya mga Koreano. <laughs> Kasama na... Inspiration uh, from Koreano, I think he means maybe that he's gotten the... Either he means that he's inspir when she when as she was saying that he's inspiration to a lot of people, <laughs> right? Bosses need solo single performance. Asap natin ito pagtatake. Eto nang apat ng ni Justin ang unang yung solo single na surreal. Pinuri naman ng mga eighty ng napakagandang bosses ni Cha. Kwento ni Justin inspiration niya sa awitin. I think she's saying that how she's he's an inspiration to a lot of eighty now there. And uh, all original, all original, all original, 
Yung kanta ka ako. <laughs> Maybe his inspiration for Korean he meant to say. Even si Justin, in fairness. Inspirasyon niya po sa awitin ay mga magagandang... Inspirasyon niya mga Koreano. <laughs> Kasama na din yun. Kasi nga, from K-pop, meron na tayong P-pop group. Isn't he outrightly group, being low-key racist? Ang inspirasyon niya nga po sa kanyang mga songs ay yung mag magagandang bagay lang na hango sa kanyang imahinasyon. Nitong nakaraang linggo lang nang i-release... Para magkaroon sa tayo ng grupo na ano, ano, hindi naman mga kataasan ng tangos ng ilong. Mm. Eh, para, iba na ngayon, syempre. Para, para talagang, ano... Original. Oo. <laughs> Nitong nakaraang linggo lang, nang i-release ang Surreal para po sa solo debut ni Justin. Ilabas. Oo. All, all ano yan? Unadulterated. Oo, ito. And they have to play that, you know, uh, weird laughing kind of uh, thing to make it sound like it's funny, but it is not funny. Because nobody's Magkakaroon laughing. Magkakaroon naman ng collaboration sila sa Dara Park at Black, Black Eyed Peas member na si Apple the App. Ipinalabas ni Apple o inilabas ni Apple ng teaser uh, ng single nilang Too Proud. Ilalabas po ito on March 8th. I guess this is not related to it. Like, damn, bro. Like, what's your problem? What's your problem, seriously? He seems like he's he's jealous, mad. He's something. The whole video is for reference and awareness of his only just love, no hate. Please don't panic, uh, I think it's awkward when Filipinos try to look like Koreans. Uh, I don't think uh, that is what uh, Justin is trying to look like. That is a lot of a what Asian boy looks like, okay? And just because you're not pretty... Okay? <laughs> I think it's all the people who don't look like those... I'm, I'm, I mean, he's very pretty, okay? And he's, according to societal, societal standards, what pretty is, what handsome is, Justin is exactly that, okay? So... I think when you're that also, you do get a lot of criticism from the people who don't fit into that standards because they just hate them because they hate them. So, yeah. When Koreans try to look like feeling, which let's face what happens when little face because we know what the world thinks of the brown race, right? Whatever. So what he should do? Should he just color himself brown? Like, what the hell? Uh, anyway, guys, the condens... Yeah, it was very condescending. He was trying to make it look like funny while still trying to be very condescending. And uh, it is it is not it is not cool. I don't know who he is, and I'm glad that I don't know who he is. Shade, that is shade. <laughs> Alright, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this Not enjoy, but yeah. Let me know what do you think about this whole situation in the comment section. And if I didn't get anything, let me know in the comment section. I'll meet you guys in the next reaction.